Hello everybody. So today I'm making a new test with this nickel zinc battery. Right now I charge this one. And yeah, I will see uh, what will be the capacity of this battery. And also here you see that I add some copper for better contact that I will not get the same problems which I get last time. So, uh, I still have 80 uh, milliamps, but I will disconnect. And I will see. The voltage is dropping. So the commercial available uh, nickel zinc battery have the voltage of 1.65 volts. Uh, but this one is slightly different. So the start is better. It's better like last one. Because when I start the electronic load, the voltage drops to around 1 volt very, very, very quickly. But I will see what I get here. The voltage comes down from 1.6 volts to 1 volt in 7 minutes. When the battery hits 1 volt, the capacity of the battery uh, looks like really, really good. But after 10, the voltage will go up again. So here's my multimeter. And you see what happens to the voltage. After 3 hours and 18 minutes, the voltage is still climbing up. You see from here to here. I will try to add a little bit of electrolyte. Okay, you see the voltage is dropping a little bit. Okay, that's it. So the voltage drops to 1.32 volts and it's dropping. Let's see here. But on some voltage uh, the dropping will be slower and slower uh, and after this the voltage will climbs up again I hope this was the last time when I add some electrolyte uh, I hope that this battery will do the same one more time so I will see so guys I run this test cell for about, I mean, almost 5 hours uh, and yeah, so you see this voltage drop uh, in this section the electrolyte was almost dry so I uh, add some of the electrolyte 
and you see here the voltage drops but really 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 slowly so now you see that the voltage is dropping 35 34 and now I will try to blow some warm air into the cell <laughs> you see one one more time crazy very crazy so now I have here some fan I will try with a fan Actually nothing happens the voltage is dropping. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I will try to blow into uh, into this battery. And the voltage is rising. So if I blow the air With the fan, nothing happens. I mean, the voltage is dropping. I will try one more time. Oh, I see now. I need to uh, turn on the heater in this fan. And the voltage is rising so definitely uh, the warm air affect the battery Also you can see here
<laughs> okay, this was really fun. You see that how the voltage goes up, but yeah, I have another problem. Uh, the electrolyte is dry. So here, uh, I blow hot air into the cell and the voltage cramps up to 1.1 1 .1, uh, volts. And after here, the electrolyte was dry. And I add uh, a new electrolyte. Because I add a new electrolyte, I don't know why, but the voltage was falling and at this point I blow the hot air again and the voltage is rising. So now I will blow again some hot air. So the battery by itself have really good capacity, uh, but also you can generate some, I don't know, extra electricity with blowing, uh, with blowing the hot air. So right now I run this test cell for about five, uh, five hours. The energy density of this cell right now is uh, 162 milliwatt hours. Uh, the cell is in size uh, 5 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Uh, the zinc is a little bit larger because that I have here some space for the contacts. But the cutout is in size uh, 5 cm by 4 cm. And yeah. So you can see here when I blow the hot air, the voltage is rising. Uh, then I add a new electrolyte. And again, here in this stage, I blow the, uh, the hot air again. And the voltage is rising again so hey guys that's it for now uh, and yeah we see us in the next video bye